Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Um, we're going to be doing a video of a series of videos um, about the GW um, authentication using Spring and Spring Security also. So the first one is going to be Spring Boot and the second one is Spring Security. So in this video, in this part, um, we're going to be creating the entities, we're going to be configuring Spring Boot and also configuring Spring, Se Spring Security to use um, GWT authentication. The GWT authentication, the GWT um, is an abbreviation for JSON Web Token. So that's what we're going to be implementing at the end of all the videos. So in this part, like I said, we're going to be creating the entities, configuring Spring Boot, Spring Security, and yes. So let's begin with creating the project. Let's do it as fast as possible. So let me just name it GWT or GB token. That no, not demo. So this is going to be a demo. Yes, Java. We're going to be using Java jar style, and here we're going to be using Java version 11. If you have another version, you can also use it. But since Java it is not going to be supported anymore, so I'm going to be using Java 11. Okay, so here you can just give it a name, GVT demo or something. And here also, GVT demo. Okay, so let's go to next. Here we're going to be importing some things that we're going to be needing. Lombok is good for configuration, so you don't have to set setters, um, constructors, um, things like that. Then we're going to be web, we're going to be using the web one. And also security, like you know, Spring security. We're going to be using a database. I'm choosing MySQL since it's free and it's open source. And yes, also GPA. So let's go next. Let's give this project project a name, GVT. Um, let's give it the, the JSON Web Token the full name. And then demo. So you choose it here, and then you click finish. Okay. So let's open it in a new window, and let's close this window. So here we see that the project is being generated. Here we're going to be going and setting up and and adding the dependency that we need to use um, GWT. So right here we're going to be using this one and then um, you can just Google very fast GWT token maven IO and then we will get the dependency here. So let's choose the latest one, copy and paste. This is copied and then paste it here. Okay, so let's close this window and as you, as you can see here, it's already downloaded. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Mm, supposed to be downloading. Oh no, you have to enable auto import. Okay. So, should be downloaded. Okay, so you can see it here the IO JSON with token. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. And that is going to be adding the database settings. So let's go to resources. Let's go to application properties, and here I have it already. I already have it here, so I'm going to just copy paste and go through it a little bit. Since this um, tutorial is not about um, database, but GWT and GW token. So this, the first one is to set how I'm going to create the database from the entity model, 
this is the data source, so where is your database stored, what are you using, which um, which database, which type of database, this, where it is, so look, host, and the port, and this is your, the GW2 demo, it's your database name, and these are extra configurations that are needed if you use I think it has something to do with a warning that you will receive if you don't use it. So this is allow public is true. And as you know, we're not going to be using SSL. So we set it to false to avoid the warning or possible error. So here you have the username with password. It depends on what you have configured. This is for to show you the database and um, SQL queries if you want to. And this is also an important one. In order for you to use the InnoDB engine, you have to specify this setting, spring setting. Otherwise, it will use the default my my ESAM engine. Okay, so that was the application properties. Um, right now, we're going to be creating the GWT um, properties file. So go to resources. <coughs> Go to file and then here you're going to say GWT properties and click OK or hit enter. And here also I have it already here. And I'm going to go over it a little bit. So this is your secret, this is your expiration that for your cookie so after 100 seconds is going to be expiring and the cookie name and also there's a lot of um, another attribute that we are going to be using in the GWT token and this is the name of that attribute so it can be used globally when you when you authenticate somebody and when you when that somebody uses a resource and you have to authenticate him this this is the name that's going to be used for you to get the role the, the roles of the user so of the person that's using your resources okay so that was the gwt properties right now we also have to create it to be to make it easier we're going to be creating a package we're going to be calling it um, properties in this properties you're going to be creating a class so let's name it GWT properties and this class I also have it here already copy paste it for you so we can go to it um, more 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 and more fast so I'm going to explain to you a little bit about this. And here we're going to be saying to well, so Spring Boot, um, yeah, so this is a configuration properties class. The property resource, you're going to be saying that this is class path. It depends on where your file is located, but here I'm going to be saying it's, it's class path. And in the class path, you're going to find this file GWT properties. So this component is for um, Spring Boot to register and add data. It's a Lombok um, annotation that allows that that allows no that creates the gathers and setters for you, so you don't have to create them. So this is important. Every name that is specified here as property of the attributes has to be the same name that is specified here so at the end um, when we're going to be using this we're going to be auto wiring this class and we're going to just be using these um, private fields with the getters with the setters and they are going to be auto populated by spring boot so we don't have to do anything just use it okay so let's proceed using one other thing no um, I will explain that in the, in the next video. Um, but right now we are going to be going to this demo application and 
in order for Spring Boot to know about these properties and let us use it in, in, in the whole application, we have to enable another um, annotation that is enable configuration properties. And that annotation is going to say to Spring Boot, hey, we want to use these GVT properties in the whole application. Okay. So that's set for the configuration properties and the configuration of Spring Boot. Let me see what's next. Um, next, we're going to be creating the entities. So let's begin creating the entities as fast as possible. Um, so the models. I'm going to be creating a few um, packages right now. We're going to be seeing that we're going to be needing the repository, also service, and also configurations. I think that's it for now. So let's begin creating the person entity. This person entity also have it here so we can move faster and faster and faster and explain a little bit about it. So I copy pasted it here. So the first one is the ID. So it's an auto, an auto generated um, um, ID for this entity, and we're going to be naming it like you see a person ID. Here, the, the, a few properties of person is username and password that we're going to be using, so we can log in and authenticate. And also here, as you can see, it's red now but if we create the row model and then use this here and put it just like this yes okay so right now we can see that the red color is gone because we just created it these are just basic entity creation so entity to annotate that is an entity table specify the name it's not necessary here but I just doing it for convention for best best practice builder is another um, Lombok annotation that is used so you don't have to create an object like let me show you like this so you don't have to say okay um person um, something is new person so that is what we're trying to avoid so when you create this you're going to be just saying person is person the class and builder and then you can specify all the properties using it this way which is more convenient okay um, to go through the attributes really fast so we have a person ID just like the um, the role ID oh no we just did this okay no uh, we're supposed to go to the role yes okay so here the same thing the table name which is name row and then the same thing for a person which is at um, at builder and then at the data or yeah whichever whichever comes first so here we're going to go to the address the same thing as person you have a role id and then you have a name okay and then here as you can see it is a builder default this is just to say to spring boot okay i'm already initializing this here so you don't have to initialize it for me or I don't have to initialize it. You have to use this initialization that I specify here. Okay, these are to exclude the equals and hash code. So when Spring Boot and Java is going to generate or create this object in memory, it has to have um, a unique reference to that object. So this is saying to this is saying to um, Spring Boot and Java 
this object is not necessary for you to include it in, in the process of creating your unique ID for this specific instance in the memory, okay? And to, to, to string of clues is also here because when you're going to be, for example, viewing this or console logging this object on, on your console, if you don't specify this annotation, it's going to be giving you a stack overflow error because it's going to be go to into person and you know person has roles, so it's going to be going into role and person and role, you know. Okay, so as you see here, this is a many to many relationship, so person has a lot of roles, roles can belong to a lot of persons. And here, as you can see, if you know a little bit about screen data GPA, this means that this this entity person is the owner of this relation. So whenever you want to create a new role, you have to add it to this list so it can be automatically created, okay, by Spring Boot GPA. Okay, so that's it. You, you know this is the, the this is basic GPA stuff. So person role is the joint table name, so the new table name, the person ID and the role ID are foreign keys for person and role. Okay. So the map by you already know this is in, has to have the same name as this name. And that's it. Um I think there's one other package that we have to create, that is the enum package. And since Enums is already um, used by Java, we're going to name it Enumeration. And here we're going to be creating a row. So here, create an Enum and then Catman and public. Okay, so those are the roles that we're going to be using. Okay, so this is what this video holds about. So this is the basic creation of entities and configuration of Spring Boot and GWT properties. Um, by the way, this is not supposed to be, sorry, this is not supposed to be a class, but it is supposed to be a package, sorry. So, so after, in the next video, we're going to be configuring Spring Security. Um, the Spring Security, um, basic configuration so we're going to be extending and modifying the default and configuration okay so as you can see i'm going to be giving you a few demo of how this oh this also sorry this also doesn't have to be a class but also a package i'm sorry okay Okay, so yes, um, so let's run this project right now. Um, make sure that you have your database already created. So GWT, GWT demo, and then let's just run this and see the tables getting created. Okay, okay, okay. Let's Go, let's go, let's go. As you can see, all went good. If you get an error about the the table not existing or foreign key error, it doesn't matter. And then refresh here, and here you can see all tables. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to be configuring Spring Security. And we're also going to be inserting data so we can see how it works, okay? And a few other couple of things so we can get to the end of this GWT token notification, all right? Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you for listening. And any suggestions in the comments, Any anything you want to say, okay? Bye.